time to review this film before the monsters of the night come out. Speaking of which, today we're talking about the film The Omega Man, starring Charlton Heston. So let's go ahead and, write and talk about it. Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? So if my voice sounds a bit off, um, I'm just trying to overcome a uh, uh, cold. So, but... Ignoring that, we're going to talk about the film, The Omega Man. So this is the second uh, film that was based on the novel, I Am Legend, by Richard Matheson. So basically, what was the idea, like the story of this film? Well, the story of the film is basically the last man on Earth is basically immune to a disease, and at night, crazed individuals known as mutants are trying to take him out or in a way, because like you know he since he is like the last man on Earth alive. <laughs> see so what are my honest thoughts about this film well honestly here's the deal i actually really like films from the 70s i mean mostly because i love the use of color that was very prominent in that time period well 70s and the, the 70s and the 60s and all that i really like the use of colors that would appear that appeared in the films of that time period so that was like a thing that really that I really enjoyed. And I think the thing that makes this film work is I like the acting is actually really good. I'm a scientist. What the hell are you? Definition of a scientist. A man who understood nothing until there was nothing left to understand. However, although like say the acting is can be pretty good, the issue that I have with the film though is that although you have some great sequences with Charlton Heston. The issue of uh, issue of it with it though though is that you really enjoy the moments where say the mutants appear and are attacking him head on. So you have that, but I guess the issue I have with this film though is that besides the moments of action and the bits of suspense that there are. And I just find the film can be slightly dull. And that's not as and not, I'm not saying that, you know, like, oh, I don't like this film, though. I think this film is actually really good. However, I'll be honest, like, say one of the things, though, is... I just feel that having seen the original one with, um... The original Last Man on Earth starring Vincent Price. I actually still really like that film, honestly. Alive among the lifeless that make the night hideous with their inhuman cravings. If they are not destroyed in the flaming pits of hellfire or staked to the ground in the light of the sun. <laughs> and also, like, the Will Smith I'm in the film as well. So... I guess the issue that I have with this film is that at times it can be tedious. Tedious in that you're just like waiting for the moments when the action appears. You're just waiting for the moments when you have these great moments of great acting. And although there there might be a bit of misconception in that, say, this could be the first interracial kiss on film, that, could tell, that might be wrong. <laughs> But it is steamy. But if you want to be a very uh, specific about it, uh, the first extraterrestrial kiss on television is still um, Star Trek between Captain Kirk and Yahora. I mean, over I mean, overall, I gotta say at times when you have like the acting of the film, 
is actually very good. And everyone in the film does a great job, honestly. And I gotta say the final sequence where uh, Neville basically ends up getting speared. The bad dream is over, friend Neville. Now we can sleep in peace. I think Heston does a great job in selling that sequence. But that's just but this is just how I feel. I mean what are your thoughts on this? Oh no. <laughs> Don't forget to keep your eyes on the screen, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.